everyone, welcome to Heart of Philly and today we are we are at the Let's Go Eat Food and Fun Fest with Hunter Pence with the Philadelphia Phillies. Hi Hunter, how are you doing today? Good, Karen. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Tell us about this, the charity events today. Well, um, you know, we put together a couple causes that are really dear to my heart. Um, we're here having food and fun for Make-A-Wish Philadelphia and Phil Abundance. Also, I'm going to be helping out because I play for the Phillies, the Phillies Charities. So, uh, pretty wide reach and, um, you know, I love Philly so much. It's been a great place to play. The city is unbelievable and, uh, you know, I'm just grateful for an opportunity to kind of give back a little bit and try to help out a little bit. And these are three really great causes and soon we'll talk to some of the representatives from these charities. And so anyway, Hunter, what do you think about the food in Philly? The food? I love it. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've, you know, the let's go eat thing kind of took off and, uh, you know, I've really just been overwhelmed with how good the food is, how fresh, how I feel like there's a lot of passion in the food in Philly. There's just so many amazing restaurants. There's a lot of cool places like the Mushulu that we're at right now. Um, you know, and, and ultimately I'm just enjoying it. I'm just kind of touching the surface, scratching the surface on it. What do you think, Hunter, about the Philly fans? The Philly you, fans? Yeah. Oh man, they're they're unbelievable. They're passionate. Uh, they're into every every one of the sports, every game. They're very knowledgeable. It's a, it's tremendously fun when when the fans care as much as they do. Uh, you know, you feel like you really impact their daily basis. Like you know, when you win, they're super happy. When you lose, it really hurts them. They, you know, they feel the pain. <laughs> it's like we a feel. heartache. We all feel the pain, and we yeah. all feel the joy. So it's like we're all in it together, and it's a lot of fun. Now, can I ask you on a personal note? Because I know my nephew would kill me if I didn't. But I have a nephew who's going to get signed soon, um, in about a week or two. He's at South Carolina Upstate. Mm -hmm. He's a pitcher, and um, there are three teams looking at him. What kind of advice would you give to a young guy coming out to, for the first time? Uh, you know, the, the only advice really is just to, to you know, give it everything you got. You know, to to play to win that day, and and just take it, you know, one day at a time. Uh, you know. Well, for me, you know, it, it takes a lot of good luck, but the main thing is to not look at it too largely to try to be like, oh, I got to go so far because you start at the lowest level. But the main thing is just to be a good teammate and play to win and play, you know, those kinds of things. You do the little things right. You prepare every day and you leave it all on the field. And we're with Marianne with Phil Abundance. And could you tell us your story about Phil Abundance? Sure. We are the area's uh, local food bank and we feed about 65,000 people per week. Um, and we do that through a network of agencies and through direct service programs. And we really appreciate this because this is the time of year when we need help the most. Um, kids are getting out of school and free and reduced lunches are not available to them and their families are really strained and so having an event like this really helps them get through the summer. And what can people, what can other people do to help out with Phil Abundance? Uh, well, they can support us through our website. Go to philabundance.org. Um, they can do a food drive for us. They can come and volunteer with us and you can find out all that sort of information on the web. Go to philabundance.org slash summer meals and you can see how you can help this summer specifically. And we're with Ayla Brown. Hi Ayla. How Hi. are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? It's so nice to meet you. Yes. And you were just telling me a little bit about what you've done. Tell me about American Idol and some of the things you've done. You know, American Idol, I was, I was on the show when I was 17 years old, and I had the time of my life. I got to meet Simon Cowell and Paula Abdul and all these incredible people, and I got eliminated at 13th place. Oh, man, and then you I made went, it pretty far. I made it really far. For someone who was 17 years old, I'd never sung in front of anyone before. And then when I got off the show, I went and played college basketball for four years on a scholarship and I just graduated uh, in 2010 and I live in Nashville and I am currently the national anthem singer for the Philadelphia 76ers. Yay, so I great. feel like uh, Philly is becoming my second home. I love it. I'm so excited that I even got invited to this event to be a part of it, to help out with the charities and to, to meet Hunter, of course. And we're with Dennis with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Hi, Dennis. How are you? What a pleasure, Karen. And we have some kids here that are going to benefit from this event tonight, too. And your name again? Michelle Lauch. Michelle mm -hmm. and Jared. 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 Hi, Jared. And Johnny yeah. and his father. Oh, cool. Hi, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. So tell us about the Make-A-Wish Foundation a little bit, and then we'll talk to the kids, okay? Well, what we do is we grant the wishes of kids that are and have had had a life-threatening medical condition. Um, what we'll do this year, because of wonderful events like tonight, we'll be able to reach out to more than 300 families just in the Philadelphia metropolitan area who've really had their lives turned it upside down, and, and nobody can speak more to that than a, a wish family. Um, Jared and John um, know firsthand 
what our program is about. And, and, and essentially what we do is we, we work with the social workers at, at the specialty hospitals. If you're ill enough to be eligible for our program, you're either at CHOP or St. Chris's, AI DuPont in Wilmington, Delaware, or Penn State Hershey Medical Center. And about halfway through treatment, the social worker will, with, will nudge the family and say, hey, there's a, an organization out there called Make-A-Wish, and we believe you're eligible for it. Once we get the family to calm down, because they remember very well how we were born 30 years ago, they, they were for kids that were very sick, very sick. And now, uh, at least 80 to 85 percent of our kids beat their disease and go on to live a full and ha happy life. Much of it is what we think is giving those kids something tangible to hold on to, something that makes them feel good while they're going through this, this ordeal. It's Make-A-Wish, and we sit with the, the children and the family and we say, Jared, if you could go anywhere or do anything or meet anybody, what it would be? What would it be? And, and what would you say? And Jared says, <laughs> what did you say? Pong. Oh, Peter is he Pants. your favorite player? Yeah. Do you, have you gone to Phillies games before? So, yeah. Yeah. Great. And what would you want? Um, I wish to go to California for Legoland. Oh, wow, that very would be popular great. Wish. Yeah. Very good. Yep. So now you're you're getting your wish today, right? Well, actually, well, Jared's actually, going to have yeah, his you, wish his in his March. Yeah. March. He's going okay. to Clearwater to meet Hunter. Oh, my god. Tonight's goodness. just an added bonus. Yeah. This is just a little introduction, right? <laughs> oh, wow, that is great. Yeah. And then you get to go to spring training, right? Oh, yeah. wow. You'll have to hit the ball really hard so he has to run after it, okay? Yeah. What's your favorite position? Yeah. Yeah. First base. Is that what you play? First base? Yeah. And I see you have a ball there with a lot of autographs. Whose autograph did you get? Um, Hunter Pence, Cole Hamels, and Kyle Hendricks. Are they all your favorite players? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you been to the Phillies games too? Not yet. Not yet, but you're down, right? Mm-hmm. Well, we're going to move it on our own. We're going to pass that right. And, tell, and you're the general manager of the Phillies. Okay. Tell us about tonight. Well, I mean, it's one of those uh, special occasions where some of our players, obviously Hunter Pence is, is hosting tonight, but um, for them to be involved in the community and to um, and have the support of the other players, you know, this is an off night for our guys, and so for them to, to be here tonight, uh, it kind of in full force, it's, uh, it's pretty special. For our guys to be a part of the community, it's an important for our organization for them to feel that they're, uh, they are part of it. I think it's great that they do come out to events and they give back, not just on the field, but they give back back to the community. Because the community, you know, the Phillies are number one to them. So it's really nice to see the effort that they give. And, yeah. Yeah, we're very fortunate as an organization. We're very proud of the fact that uh, not only do they support uh, many different causes that they have to do tonight, but they, they also support each other. And, uh, and that's pretty special when you have that kind of camaraderie. Um, we talk about makeup in baseball a lot. These guys have great makeup. They're good people, and, uh, and I think it's one of the ways that they can connect with the fans as well. I, I understand what you're saying because when I was talking with the other players tonight, they were saying we're here to support Hunter because you know, this is his first charity event, and that was really cool to hear that. But they're really out here supporting his first time, you know, and he's doing a great job. We, we love, love you, Heart of Philly. We love you, Heart of Philly. We love you, Heart of Philly. I love you, Heart of Philly. I love you, Heart of Philly. I love you, Heart of Philly. Oh, I like that. I love you, Heart of Philly.